Um, so the, the things that we're, this is just like our, um, so can, oh, can you put the, is it? It's all okay, whoa, you heard all that too. Paul Toth view on where to get your news and how to get about this problem. Okay, um, okay so um, I should have changed the order here. This is probably where we want to start because this is what your final grade is made up of. Um, and basically our rhythm with the class is you have weekly readings and reflective, re reflective essays and that goes into the assignment category. That's going to be like the same. Okay, so I'll be um, posting something over the weekend that I'll be doing next Friday. And you just do it like you've always done. Um, this is the part that's going to be different in that I've never taught um, a, an online course before. So I'm not quite sure like what the best way to do it is and what the you know, what, what's the best teaching value for the amount of headache it takes to set it up and do it. Um, how many of you have some, like just an idea from what you mentioned in the survey, how many of you have like worked in an online course before? All right, oh that's pretty good then. Okay. Not a Spanish one though. Not a Spanish one, right. Right. Not, not a synchronous one, only a synchronous one. Right, right, so synchronous is probably not what we're gonna do, but we'll see. Um, so what they're kind of recommending from CLA is to have like one individual reading writing assignment and then one discussion assignment. So we'll see. The value of discussion is sharing your ideas with other people and then being able to sort of build off of them like we were going to do today. Um, <laughs> um, so uh, the, you know, the question is when you do something asynchronously then you know, you, someone says something, someone else responds, and then it just, like, it's there. And then does the person who got responded to ever, like, pick up on it or notice it? I, I don't know. I mean, so I don't know how you get people to do that. Um, but basically, the technology is, is Canvas, and then the tools in hand Canvas are the same technology that you're using for things like Skype or FaceTime to make a video call, um, connect and patch more than one person into it, if you've ever done that, it's the same thing. That's what Zoom is, if you haven't done with, work with Zoom before. It's like a, a more sophisticated and kind of more professional, with more options, kind of version of Skype. Um, so, you know, you can have one person who's hosting the meeting, and then you add people in, you just call in like you're Skyping somebody, and they can just patch them in, and you have like on one panel with all the people who are participating, and then one person who's the speaker, you, you gotta make sure your mic is on, your video is on, and so on. And that's how you do it in live, in real time. Um, so that would be a synchronous meeting. Um, the asynchronous discussions are like, um, would probably be going through, um, oops, oh wait a minute, I need to get into our course here. So I, I did tweak some of the things that appear on the side here. Um, so discussions would be probably the main way to do it. Um, and it, it's just, it would appear on your end, like, um, you know, say, um, let's see, reading, reading for um, March, next week, March 19th, whatever. Think long and hard about this reading and have something intelligent to say. Okay, so um, if you post it, if I were to post it to all sections, then you would all get it and you all have like, you know, you chime in and it's like answering a text. So it's like having a text message, okay? Um, I can add a file, like if I wanted you to, like, if I wanted to put the reading in there, I could do that. Um, the readings are all already already there, so I don't know if I'm, I, don't, I might put a link in there or whatever to, to all, all the readings already uploaded as PDFs, so it's up to the, the book. But, um, you know, I could do that. 
you can like, as an instructor, you can like put a, a video of me talking, all right? So that's another thing that instructors can do online is like you can use Zoom instead of like Skype to connect people in in real time. I can set up a Zoom meeting with myself and then do a screen capture of me talking through a PowerPoint or my class notes document and then that becomes a video file that I can then post up there for you to respond to. Okay, so that's another thing that's like, that's, that's possible to elicit discussion. The other thing about discussions is you should know that if you click on this, um, you, it sets up groups and that's kind of what we started to work with with what you were gonna do for today with the different malentendidos. You know, like I sorted you guys into five, six different groups. And then when you get, on, the, on your end, when you get the discussion, you reply, but you're only replying to people in the group, not the whole class. So that's up to me to sort of sort that out. Okay, what apparently is too complicated to do is to do what we often do in class, which is divide and break into groups, and then you report to the whole class, and then the whole class comments on what you're saying. That's like two steps, like two steps of discussion. And um, I think that's a little too complicated. So I don't, well, probably not gonna do that anymore, but I would have loved to, so. If you had a bunch of threads in one discussion, you just told each group of students to look at one thread, and yeah. then maybe after that, look at everyone? Yeah, that might you could. So that's another thing is you can organize it as like a threaded discussion, which is like, like Facebook and Instagram or whatever. You can, if it's not threaded, you just, everybody's responding to the prompt. You don't get to respond to each other. If it's threaded, then you can not only respond to the prompt, but you can also embed a response to someone else's response. So that's, they'll probably be threaded. Okay, but that's, you know, I have to teach that I get to be cool in the discussion. So I don't know, whatever's simpler and to, you know, what we'll, we'll, we'll do. I've been in a Zoom thing, I don't know if you said this, but like I've been in a Zoom thing recently mm -hmm. where they did just that. It is more complicated, but they did like break this into groups. Yeah. And I mean to like report back to the big thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's possible, but it might Yeah, be well I've kind of based my decisions on what I hear you guys saying here, okay? Um, all right, so hang on for instructions about that. I wanna do something with discussions. So kind of aim for one, reading, thinking, writing, as we've always have been doing at, in the assignments category, and then something where there's a facilitated asynchronous discussion, okay. Um, so there is the option though of like, they were saying that have everybody come in, you know, chime in, we're, we're all theoretically available at 1 p.m. on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for 40 to 50 minutes to have everybody chime in and you know, hook up to a synchronous meeting. The point of that though would be, you know, you can't, it's hard, I have to learn how to divide people into groups. Um, I'm not sure how you do that. Um, so the point of having everybody come in at the same time would be to hear me present something. You know, and then you're like listening in while I do a lot of talking and go over notes or something. So I'm that kind of leaning against that because like, like, why don't I just like it? If it's not very interactive, why don't I just record it ahead of time and then you can watch it on your own time and deal with it? So. I really think that you should do that, and I think that you should use VoiceThread to record yourself because you can have the class notes in the background, and also like you can go back and like yeah. watch it, and then so you can add to the VoiceThread. You can write comments, and you can also record yourself and add it, and then you yeah. can split VoiceThread into groups too. Yeah, I just saw a training video yesterday. So, if you do it with Zoom, you record yourself giving a presentation and it goes, and I don't think it's very interactive, I don't think. But you could, you could, if I posted a, a recorded Zoom thing, you could use this discussion feature in Canvas and then put in, you know, comments at the end. So that's possible. VoiceThread, though, does allow you to, like, deliver something like that, and then as you're watching something, you can comment at specific spots. So it's a little more complex. What I just don't know is like I've never used it and I don't know if it's like gonna take three hours to figure it out. I saw the video and I was like, oh, this looks pretty good. Um, I have to experiment with it. And then I, I'm not sure on your end how easy or hard it is to chime in, you know, at different, different spots. 
but I want to take this weekend and figure out the best way to do it. But I'm glad to hear that you used it and it wasn't terribly yeah, complicated. Not at all. Yeah. Okay. So, but this is a, this goes back to here. This is my cell number. It's also on the syllabus. So if you're trying to do something and you can't figure it out, I mean, first of all, if it's not an emergency, send me an email. I'll get back to you within 24 hours. But if it's kind of like, oh god, this is due, you know, tonight, and I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, you can send me a text. And just the same rules apply that I would anybody who sends me a text. It's like if I'm available, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If I'm not available, I'll still get back to you when I'm as soon as I can. Um, but um, you know, a lot of the time, I'm just during ordinary working hours, I'll be just working at my desk at home. So, you know, so chances are, if you need a quick turnaround, I can get back to you relatively soon. Okay. So, email if it's not urgent, urgent. But if you're under time pressure or something, you can send a text. And then if it's really crazy you can call. So, um, go ahead. I know you said you're kind of leaning again soon, but I just kind of wanted to like, or I guess the same part of the teaching. Yeah. I just wanted to like advocate for that. I feel like okay. um, it, to me it would just be, it's like this whole thing is like really scary as is. And like, if there, I feel like I kind of need the structure and I'm not, we'll do it for the class needs, but. Yeah. Um, it's really important to me too to like hear you speak the Spanish. I have a feeling that, again, for me, like if it's all these just files online with no due dates and like no mm -hmm. meetings, it just feels like loses mm -hmm. all meaning kind of. It's not connected to anything. Yeah. So this is why I'm I not saying like let's do more work or like let's do the harder thing, but yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Would anybody like be like, I don't know if I could connect to a live meeting at you know 1 p.m. on a Wednesday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Is there anybody who's like, I just don't know. How do we like build in a joint schedule at this point? Yeah, I mean the other thing you can do is record that. You could do a live meeting and then record it and then make it available for people who aren't around. You know, who can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to say something uh, about the field. I think I, I think that a lot of people are gonna go back home and they're gonna have to adjust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the synchronous sessions may add stress to that process. Mm -hmm. Like being in Zoom and getting connected and having issues with your family calling you. Yeah. Hey, are you gonna come for lunch or are you mm -hmm. done already? Yeah. Then you think. Yeah, yeah. So I would if if I could suggest something that is something I'm planning to do with my what with my Spanish classes is having uh having a mix. Synchronous mm -hmm. sessions that are not the three days straight, but maybe mm -hmm. one or two so mm -hmm. that the structure is there, but you don't have to be there all the time. Yeah. Well that's what too I was thinking is um Maybe what I might do is have like office hours, or so maybe that's what we could do is because they have this Zoom or collaborations to do like a lot of an episode per week, maybe uh, or maybe two of a synchronous session that's maybe a little more informal than a class, but then you know I'm presenting some things and then like taking any questions you have. Um, if you want. Um, so I'm thinking to sort of focus on Wednesday um, as a time for a synchronous meeting. Because um, that would allow you to take your Monday and your Friday sort of be focusing on, on that, that stuff. But maybe, maybe that's what we could do is like have it be a Wednesday as like class time, starting at 1, ending, you know, whenever. One fifty is our class time, but I could go over if needed, or if no one needs any help beyond that, we could end early. Um, so I think that's what I might do. Is aim for Wednesday at one. Um, okay. So let's see what else we got here. Um, so. And then, if this if it becomes necessary, this is just not working. We another option is to just not count this as participation, uh, and just count participation for whatever percent we've actually had a live class or been doing, you know, class participation and async, you know, through online. To say, okay, we're not going to do this anymore, um, and then figure out what percent that is and then cut off 
that amount of value uh, from participation grades and just move it into assignments. So another option is to just take the whole thing kind of uh, as reading and thinking individually and you know, so if we get to the end of March and like this isn't really working and people are having too much trouble connecting or you know, it's hard to give people credit or assign grades for this, that, or the other, um, we could just say, okay, March is two thirds of the course, and then we take, we reduce participation by two thirds of its weight, I think it's like 30%, so it would be 20%, and put the 10% up in assignments, and then take what would be the discussion <coughs> and just add it on to, I guess, an individual assignment. I see a lot of people like nodding and Jake shaking your head, so that's kind of good feedback that I, I, I was thinking like everybody be like, yay, we don't have to tune in, you know, but I, I wasn't sure. So I'm, but I hope you indicated that on your survey. And if you want to indicate that, I really want to know, because I'm not sure. <laughs> so Tina? I just it just sucks because my Spanish classes are really the most time I get to practice Spanish. Really? So yeah. like, that's why I want like asynchronous is the best option, but I like how you are suggesting at least once a week we can meet okay. and be live. Okay, okay. Well, all right, so let's talk about that a little further. If we are meeting once a week and be live, can you, but you, you would be like listening to me in a whole class talking, right? I mean, I mean you can it. answer, you can on Zoom, you can like, everybody's plugged in and you can, you can participate. But the problem is like, you can't all see each other very well. There's like a sidebar that shows all the people who are connected and you can't see, there's like five people. You have to scroll to see who else is there. Well, then they can only see their, their video shows up. Yeah. So, but what happens Isn't if there five a way we all... can go off into groups? Well, maybe that's what we could do. Because I, I think that's a thing. That in one of my online seems... classes, but that was with WebEx. Yeah. So it's like a different. No, but this is better than WebEx. Okay. We well, then I'm sure it's a feature. Yeah. There's also a way of breaking your head into. It doesn't have. Then you can. When you're when you're talking, you can ask people to ask for permission. Uh, yeah. People just have to click the hand icon, and then you you will uh, see like a okay. notification like this person wants to talk to you or wants uh -huh. to speak, so you can stop and answer them. I mean, it's not it's not as it's not as inhumane as the thing they have right now. Yeah, it's a conference. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we could experiment with it. Um, we got some time left. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so let me get to the end of this, and then we can we can do that. Um, so. Okay, we were, but the other thing is like, we were, uh, before we, before, well, we're still talking about assignments and participation. So today, we were gonna like have a big, everybody, each group shares what they got, right? Um, so you're in groups as it is. And um, I'm gonna give you some, I have to think through like what I would like you to submit. Not every group has submitted a result of their discussion, which you're supposed to do. I think I have, there's, 20 of us and there's 13 assignments in. So whatever, I w what I would like you to do is turn something in um, along those lines uh, with that. Could, do you think we could, do you guys, so the easiest thing to do is obviously just have everybody like write up something. Like you share it, you write up something. If what you were gonna say, you write it up. Um, are you, am I hearing though that a lot of people would rather do like a recording to actually speak? I guess so, I don't know. It let's just take like a vote, let's just see how the, the, just take a vote, like would you rather write it up? I'd rather write it up. Or would you rather speak it into a recording? I'd do either. Either way, either way. Well, okay, all right, okay, so either way. All right, so I think for that one, let's just do that as right up. And what I'd like you to do is just have so ideally, what you would do is a Google Doc, right? And then everybody just writes up, right? You can put that into Canvas. I have it. So um, if you guys know how to do Google Docs, do it. And then submit that. One person submits for the whole group with this. So you don't all submit different things. It'll take, when you're divided into groups and you're turning it in as an assignment, there's one person, I think it's the last person who turns it in is the one that gets there to be graded. So what you need to do is kind of get together and you know have someone kind of be the person who's gonna get your notes together and then just a short, you know, one page answer to what your Melanchthon Vila was gonna be. Could we just like instead of 
Google Docs do Google Slides and share the presentation. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. And have the, what and we're going to write in the notes and we're going to find These are, you know, what's, what's that guy? Yeah, Mark has that whole something in the time of cholera. Amor de tiempo. <laughs> what is it? Amor en tiempos del Oh, yeah. So this is, um, <laughs> this is Spanish class in tiempos de coronavirus. <laughs> so we're just going to do the best we can. Okay. Like submission for those groups thing, is that under the groups or like under the tareas that we usually submit under? It is. It's under assignments, yeah. So. So. Yes, you're right. Okay, I was looking at the wrong ocho. Okay. Yes. So it's this one. Uh, That's where you would submit it. Okay, so I don't know about other groups in my group. I think we all submitted that individually before coming into yeah. class as like pre research. Uh, so that's why like right. those 13 responses could be like, I submitted it before I talked to my, my I think peers. I think the way it does, though, whoever's the last one in your group is the one that I see. So what so I'm seeing is like there's one, one group. Here, let's just see. Let's just go straight there. Let's just go straight there. So it looks like there's two, wait, one, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are two groups that I don't have any material for. And then and that's for the, like, not here. the pre work? So, yeah, that was the, the pre thing. Oh, um, I thought it was if one of our, we should submit one per group, is it individual? Yeah, but, but whoever's in that group, I don't have one from, I don't, whoever's in the group with, these people who haven't submitted yet, I haven't gotten anything from that group yet. So we submitted before we even met as a group. I'm with him, I've read it. Me too. Yeah, this was a lot of people submitting. So where did you send it? It was due March 9th. Before the class. Yeah. So we all did like our own little outline. And then we used that material for that group. All right, well, if you see your name blacked out here, just send it to me on email. I'll, I'll, I'll compile it. Okay. Send it to me on email. So, and let me just see here. So, so what happens is, Taryn, if you don't mind, this is your group. This is her personal work. Right, but I think, who else is in your group? I am. Okay, so I think yours is going to be the same. No, it's not. What is it? I think so. Would it be on Canvas? No! I don't know how this damn thing works. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if we create a new assignment individually, we can elect one person to put it up. And then create a little bit of like a Terry Let me just double check here. Because I don't want to see. Allie's not here, but okay, so that's what Allie has. Who's in, who's in your group with Allie? I'm a, we're about to email you ours. Okay, that's so let me just see what you have. Uh, well, yeah, Dina? Yes. Okay, oh, so you don't have anything. All right, <laughs> just upload it then. I guess it's not. <laughs> Mine, mine is there, but so. I'm going to send you one for all three of us right now. Okay, all right, cool. I will, I'll straighten this out, and if it's, I'll get back to you about what I mean. Okay. We're not going to, like, worry about the deadline. Okay. It's all, it's all, it's all Everything a, a, a shoot show. So. Right. We're always supposed to see those group, right? That's what we did. I mean, that's what we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah. No, so I mean, did you did you guys send anything in? I sent yeah, what we had done. Oh, should but it? see, it's supposed to be grouping them. Maybe I didn't. I forgot to check a box somewhere. That could be. And maybe when I set up the assignment, I didn't set it up as a group assignment. I said because she did submit it, but it's like if I have something, then. All right. 
Let me try this one more time here. So this is the homework. This is me editing it. And Vicky was let you edit it after the people have to Oh, look. Wait, where did you say? Yep. I have not done it. That's why. OK, so you can turn in individual files on this. If you click this box as an instructor, then there's one per group. So what it might, so turn in your notes individually. That's why. And that's, now I remember why I was thinking that last week. Because you were going to just do your little preparation mm -hmm. and then discuss. And then the second part was going to be the group mm -hmm. presentation. And that was going to be oral, so there would be nothing to turn in at that point. Mm -hmm. OK, so that's what happens. So what I'm going to, so just turn in your individual preparation, all right? And then I will make a group assignment, which is what you would have talked about today. And one person will compile stuff and submit it. So, sorry you guys, I know this is a pain in the... But you will not be penalized for the... You know, screw up. <laughs> yeah, we're all kind of learning what to do here. Um, so, So the last thing is your, um, we have a few people who are doing presentations on any topic. Um, so I would like you to prepare that as you would have, put PowerPoint together. Um, you can either write up what you might say in class as a, a document to be read, or if you're comfortable with doing voice thread or you know, screen capture of you walking through it, you could do that and not type up anything. And probably what I'd like to do is figure out a way to take those presentations and set that up as a basis for a discussion. Um, so, um, so when it comes to things, you're going to have your weekly homework assignment, and then you'll have things to contribute to at, at different levels of discussion. Okay. And ideally, if you have this this time slot available, our meeting times have been three hours a week, so you're not spending more than three hours a week looking at materials and then responding in a discussion for participation. Okay, so if, you're gonna, if, you, if your job is for discussion is to look at someone's presentation, make some comments, and then watch a video of me talking about content, you know, what, what the latest content is, and then make some comments, that, that whole task wouldn't take more than three hours a week. And then the rest would be your assignments, reading the main articles and book chapters, and then thinking about it and writing you know, a reflection on that. Okay. So just watch out for announcements or, or maybe any emails if I use the inbox through Canvas. That's just an easy way to um, communicate and you'll get, you get the email every day. Um, I'm going to post your homework for next week over the weekend and try to get these weekly discussion structures set up by next Wednesday. Okay, so I'm aiming for Wednesday as times when discussions would be due. So the first one to work on would be Wednesday, then response due the following Wednesday. The first homework I'm going to put up will be today. I'll put it up on the weekend, and that will be due next Friday. Okay. And just stay in touch if you have any questions or problems. I want to report on the availability of toilet paper in your local area. That would be you know, good. Place. Go. Okay, so do you want to? Yeah. Should we should be prepared for a live class on Wednesday? Um, you'll get, yeah. Um, you I will, I'm going to send you an announcement. Okay. I'm going to think okay. about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> organize the details of a weekly discussion structure by Wednesday. You're not, I'm not going to like say, Oh, I just figured it out, and I'll be there in an hour. Okay. I'm never going to do that to you. 24 hours minimum notice. Okay. And hoping that you're about, you know, around this time, 1 to, one to 150, on a Wednesday Friday, you could be available for discussion. Okay. And I understand if you can't, so it won't be like required, required. All right. Um, do you want to take a look at Zoom for five minutes? Just to see what's going to. Like. It's pretty easy. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, you like answer the thing, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
So, so here's your. So I arrange these in uh, your little tabs on the side in alphabetical order, um, except home is at the top. So and home is the same thing as modules. So if you click on modules, you get the same. So. I did put quizzes, I'm not doing online quizzes. That means that you can't see it and outcome, you can't see that. So zoom it down here. Cookies are not supported. Okay, so that would be in your, in your, um, when you click on zoom. So, So you get a notification when I schedule a meeting, and then it gives you a, a, a like a web link, mm -hmm. and then you just click the web link, and it opens up. There's, it may ask you to like download a desktop program as well as watching it online. Um, so that's fine. Let me just see. So like, uh, I don't want to schedule, I just want to do it. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I have to sit here and spin my wheels. Instead. I'm sure they have like a, a Zoom crash course online. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they did, and I watched part of it, but you can't absorb it all in one second. I think if you schedule it, you're able to jump into it. Because I've like, I've <coughs> clicked the link like ahead of time, and like, yeah, it comes no, up. Yeah, Let's yeah. just start the beginning. Yeah, just have yes. to go down. I'll do the talk, just send the message. Yeah. Okay, wow. I forget because I've been I was working this is a new computer this semester for me and like I was using doing it on my home computer, so now it's like setting it up all for the first time. So you so that's another thing. You have to make sure you your audio and your visual video are on if you want to be seen and heard. So um general features are on, you know? Um so Here's your chat thing. So this is this side yeah. window. You can't see, but there's a side window here where you can you type to everybody and say, okay. So is this is he live. Yeah. Are we live now? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Wow. Yeah. And you. And the share screen. Yeah. The share screen is. Van a ver el, mi oficina de casa.